Of all the editing controls we have in Lightroom, I think two of the most powerful are that of the temperature slider and the tint slider, which both control the white balance in Lightroom. White balance is one of those things that there's kind of two ways to go about correcting it. For one, you can shoot for what we would call the correct white balance, meaning that whites in the photograph actually look white. The other way you can go about correcting your white balance is intentionally skewing it a little bit to kind of convey some certain feeling or mood. Now in an image like this, we can clearly see that I shot it with the incorrect white balance. The white frost in the trees is clearly not white, it's very blue. And what we might wanna do is change that to give ourselves the correct white balance. To do that, we can use the temperature slider. So the temperature slider is one of two sliders in Lightroom, and it controls the blue to yellow white balance scale, whereas tint is the other white balance slider, and it controls the green to magenta. So temperature, for me, is used much more commonly. In this case, what I'm gonna do is just simply take the temperature up, and what's gonna happen is, all of the whites and all of the colors in the image are going to get warmer. So you may have heard warm and cool in photography. Warm refers to the more yellowy orange colors, and cool refers to the more blue colors. So what we can do by warming up the photo, by increasing the temperature, we're essentially changing our white balance. So what I can do is bring temperature up, and I'm gonna bring it up to about 4,500. And right about there, I think the frost in the trees actually looks white. Awesome. So this would be what we call the correct white balance. And if we look at the Y to Y compare view, we can clearly see a difference. On the left, I didn't have any sort of white balance correction. In fact, I shot it with the incorrect white balance. And on the right, we've corrected it, we've fixed it. So another example of this would be something like this on a portrait photo. I did this whole senior portrait session with my camera set to the wrong white balance. I was set to tungsten and not to daylight, which I should have been. So what we need to do here is correct this. And all we've got to do, if we go into the develop module, again, is take that temperature slider up. And temperature is simply going to control the warmth of the photo, the white balance from the blue to the yellow scale. So we can increase the temperature a little bit here. And just like that, if we do a little comparison, we can see how much of a difference that makes. Now, there are two examples of giving us the correct white balance. I now wanna take a look at how we can use white balance creatively to give a certain mood in a photograph. If we go back here and we take this rodeo shot, I think out of the camera, I did a great job with the white balance of this image. Whites look white, the people wearing white shirts in the background, they look pretty good. Everything seems correct here, but it doesn't have that rodeo feel. So here would be the other application of the temperature slider. For one, we can use it to correct the white balance. In another way, we can actually use it to intentionally skew the white balance. So here, I envision this as a rodeo shot being a little bit more warm and western, having that kind of orangey yellow color cast. And what I can do is take the temperature slider up a little bit and maybe like something like this, like 6,500, just enough to give it a little bit of a feeling or a mood. Now the whole goal with this is, you don't wanna go far enough that people can tell you did it. You wanna be very faint, very subtle, just enough that subconsciously your viewer is going to make it feel, kind of make the viewer feel more of an emotion when they see your photographs. So to summarize, let's take a look here and see. We can see on the left, we've got a correctly white balanced photograph. Whites look white, things look proper. And on the right, we've got more of that feeling, that Western feel, which technically is the incorrect white balance, but in an image like this, it works. So the temperature slider is there to either A, help you correct your white balance and get your images to a point where the whites look white, or B, to intentionally skew the white balance to convey a certain mood or feeling in the photograph.